Right out of the gate, at the first Olympic qualifying event, the World Championships 2022, we saw a world record from Loredana Toma, one of the legends of the category, an enormous 119 kilo snatch. And that She's might be it. the best of all three She's lifts. Got She's got a new world record for Loredana Toma. But it wasn't long before the record was defeated, twice, and we'll get there. What's interesting about this first competition is that the woman who would go on to obliterate the rest of the field over the coming year of qualifying wouldn't even medal. Lao Gui Fang of China turned up to that competition, her first senior international, and placed fourth. Surely she wasn't going to become the next Deng Wei. Or was she? And she get up with it this time. She's not going to be able to do it. Over. Meanwhile, at that World Championships, we saw the two US 71s, Kate Vibert, an ex-world champion, battle it out against the younger Olivia Reeves, who's gone on to become one of the most exciting young lifters in the world. Angie Dahomez, sister of the Olympic champion Nacy Dahomez, took the silver medal, and Italy's Giulia Miserandino hit an iconic snatch at 110 kilos. Her emotional collapse would come to frame the entire qualification period. Oh, beautiful my lift. word. She's that is incredible. Emotional. That was an amazing lift. Perfect timing right to the hips. It's worth remembering, these athletes have an 18-month Olympic qualifying period to post a total that ranks them in the top 10 in the world. If they make the top 10, they get an invite to the Olympics. It's that simple. The IWF World Cup in April, streamed at Weightlifting House TV, will be their last chance to make that top 10. Off the back of the World Championships, almost everything changed. More so than any other category, perhaps the top 10 here have shifted around the most. At the following Continental Championships in 2023, starting with the Europeans, drama struck as Loredana Toma, the reigning world champion and world number one from Romania, appeared to retire after a not so strong performance. Yes, she still won, but her numbers were down. She left some of her accessories on the platform, a sign of retirement, and then she cried on the podium. It turned out to be a sign of internal domestic protest within her federation. Loredana has gone on to lift worse and worse, 256 kilos, 240, 238, until recently at the European Championships 2024 last month, where she managed to see a slight increase, a flash in the snatch of her former self, totaling 241 kilos. It became clear here also that Julia Mizrandina was going to struggle to remain in the top 10, with her clean and jerk being relatively low. Despite some insane snatch technique, her inability to clean and jerk in the 130 range has led to her sitting just outside of the top 10. She'll do everything she can in Thailand at the World Cup to claw her way back in. At last year's World Championships, in an attempt to make a personal best 112 kilo snatch, she injured her hip, an injury that took her out of the Grand Prix in Doha and the most recent European Championships. Her recent training, however, looks very strong. And so just five months after Loredana's original snatch world record at 119 kilos, Lao Gui Fang, the fourth place finisher at that competition, smashed a 120 kilo world record snatch at the Asian Championships. She also went on to clean and jerk 148 kilos, a total of 268, a weight only she has gone on to beat in this category, some 12 kilos above the winning total from the prior world championships. In fact, other than Angie Homes taking the snatch world record just two weeks later at 121 kilos, an insane lift which moved her into second in the world at the time, though she now sits at third, Lao Gui Fang has remained unchallenged. Her performances have only continued to improve. In Riyadh at the 2023 World Championships, Lao Gui Fang snatched well, hitting 120 kilos again, but clean and jerked 153, a new world record clean and jerk in total. Surely no one could defeat her. Well, two things happened. One, North Korea returned to weightlifting. Song Kuk Yang, an athlete we knew nothing about, appeared on the international scene. The North Korean team arrived too late to qualify for the Olympics, but their presence was definitely felt, most of all by China. At their first meeting, the Asian Games in October, Lao Guifang pulled out after two snatches. Song Kuk Yang went on to win. When they met again in Doha last December, Song outsnatched Lao Guifang by 5 kilos, making 120, Guifang's competition the best. 
She then went on to take a shot at the 154 kilo world record that Guifang owned. She missed it, but she did win. Then last month at the Asian Championships, she made it. La Guifang wasn't there. And so since North Korea's arrival, Song Kuk Yang has remained undefeated. Three straight wins. The second thing that happened was that the USA's Olivia Reeves saw an enormous spike in performance. 24 straight made lifts in international competition, a rise of 17 kilos on her total, and the only athlete eligible for the Olympics other than Lao Guifang to total over 262 kilos. If you think China isn't concerned, you're wrong. Questions were asked by the Chinese team after Olivia Reeves' breakout performance in Doha as to whether her progress could continue and whether, if Lao Guifang missed some lifts and Olivia continued to make all of hers, China would be defeated. And so not only does Lao Guifang have to convince the coaches that she's too strong for Olivia, she also has to ensure she's in the top three Chinese women. Thailand will decide this. Speaking of Olivia, her performances were enough to convince Kate Vibert, who has lifted spectacularly well this quad, that surpassing her and becoming the top US weightlifter in the category is impossible. She has now moved up to the 81 category to contend with Matty Rogers. More on that story in the 81s. There are, of course, other athletes in this category who slipped through the story and landed in the top 10. Vanessa Sano from the Philippines has looked unbelievable, and she currently sits in fifth. Marie Sanchez from Colombia and Chen Wenhui from Taipei look strong in seventh and eighth. But below that, things get dangerous. The chasing 71s who want to enter the top 10 in Thailand at the last chance qualifier will have to total at least 242 kilos, and that's totally subject to change. Chasing those last two spots are athletes like Brazil's Amanda da Costa, Famti Tan from Vietnam, Julia Mizorandino and Sarah Davies. The last chance qualifier, the IWF World Cup in Thailand, starts on March 31st and will be available to watch with commentary from myself and my co-commentator Max Ater at Weightlifting House TV. There's also a ton of exclusive training and backroom content from these very athletes, Lao Gui Fang, Julia Mizorandino, Lodan Otoma and others all available for you to watch exclusively at Weightlifting House TV. The link is down below. <laughs>